Hi everyone, I am Saif and today I will be reacting to Jujiro violated the Ratai tournament. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, dad. That's a big ass. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Today we're here to talk about a lot of big dudes, but the height doesn't make sense of Baki. I looked up some of the heights. Jujiro Hama 6'3"? What? Okay. Look like he's about 18 feet tall. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, we're here to talk about the Ray Tape tournament saga arc, whatever you want to call it. I did the video for the Maxim tournament about mm -hmm. Jujiro Jack and Baki with the homie CJ the Champ. And y'all was in the comments like, Sin, you gotta run it back for the Ray Tape tournament. So we here. And y'all know I don't like to do a lot of theatrics. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into the video, I do need y'all to do me one favor. Uh huh. You know, I don't really like plugging a lot of stuff. I don't like doing that. And I don't want y'all to not come back to the video when you go to do this. But I have a channel called Sinfinite. That's S Y N Finite. You feel me? On okay. There, I'm okay. Doing commentary, just like I do with these series, but about just regular real life stuff. And. I've been spending a lot of money getting animations done for the videos. These videos are mad fire. I need y'all to please, after you're done watching this video, go over there, subscribe. You feel me? Make sure you hit okay. the subscribe, turn those notifications on, and go watch the three videos that I have over there because they're bangers. I'm not going to lie, but let's get it. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. The story starts. We got Yujiro versus Muhammad Ali Jr., bro. And I am not going to lie to y'all, bro. This man, Ali Jr., is the biggest fraud in Bob. Baki, this is a bit. <sighs> and I know y'all are probably wondering, Sin, why is he a bit? Why are you hating on our black brethren? I don't want to do it. But the stuff that he did in this motherfucking season was some whole ass shit. And we're going to get to that. Now, when Ali Jr. and Ujiro started fighting, this man Ujiro utilized a technique that I have never seen someone do against a boxer before because usually they're standing up boxing. Oh, no. Anyways, this man Ujiro laid down on the <laughs> First off, pause. Why are you laying down for another man? But <laughs> zesty counter. I ain't going to lie. But anyways, this man Ali Jr. couldn't figure out at the time how to defeat this whole laying down technique. So he said, well, if you're going to lay down for me, I already won the fight. And he leaves. That is not what you want to do against this man Ujiro Hanma, bro, because he was mad Oof. as hell. Oof. He started gritting his teeth looking at that door. Bro breaks the door down looking in the hallway. And there it was. A uh, innocent bystander standing there. He's just a hotel employee. But that was in the hallway looking like he seen a goddamn ghost. He was scared as hell. And bro, I do not blame him. If I walked in the hallway and seen a nigga the size of Godzilla <laughs> in the same way, I walked out there looking like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and he himself. Moving on, Ali Jr. wants to get into the Ray Tape tournament. This is where Baki, Retsu, and all of them are at. My man Baki out here looking like I was about to say something real messed up, but I can't. Let's just say that my nigga Baki looks like he needs some sort of IV and fluids. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. So Ali Jr. has to fight somebody to get in a tournament and they put this nigga against Krillin but obese. Why do y'all have Krillin in here with a beer belly? This nigga big as shit. So he starts to fight in him and the big ass nigga lays down. And I'm not going to lie, bro. I thought that it was over for Ali Jr. because of the Ujiro situation. But then I realized, man, that nigga didn't leave because he was laying down. He left because it's Ujiro. This man got on his knees and started rocking this fat mother down on the ground. <laughs> fat ass dude stood straight up, bro. He didn't know what to do. Ali stand up talking crazy to him like, yeah, bitch ass fat nigga. Yeah, you better off standing up and started punishing this nigga. Had him shook on the wall. Needless to say, Ali Damn. got to join the Ray Tate tournament just like that. And they started introducing all the fighters. Man, everybody okay. here. Okay. My man Retsu here. You got Baki. Sick version, Ujiro, Ali Jr., Biscuit Oliver, Dorian, mm -hmm. and all these other Chinese Kempo users that are sea emperors, but they garbage. Who cares about them? You got the poison hand guy, his brother. You got the car that just passed. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm about to go blow that up. C4. Anyways, after the theatrics of introducing everybody, they made Ujiro break some tiles. Of course, of course. And we got the first fight. It was Ujiro versus Retsu's master, the old ass buff bald guy. Bro looking like Jinpachi from Tekken 5. So they get the fighting and I did not expect this at all. This man Ujiro used his hand as a meat cleaver. He stuck his hand in this nigga's face and I'm like, what is he doing right now? Why is his hand in his 
his cheekbone like that. And then this nigga uh, ripped that dude's uh, whole face off. He defaced whoa. him. Bro, I had to yeah, yeah, him yeah, yeah. three times. I said, is that his face? And then he threw it into the crowd of the Chinese bystanders. They're like, oh my God. This is the ugliest shit. I'm just saying, but this, this nigga's face is in the crowd. Girl, you're ugly Ooh. Ass Ooh. You look like my foot. So Retu jumps in because he's fucking pissed, bro. But the old nigga without a face got mad. He was like, how dare you get in my fight, you big bastard. You buff ass, 17 ab ass nigga, back up. This is my fight. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. He got punished, bro. Ujiro punished this nigga and then threw a towel on his face. I couldn't even believe this. No so damn. In the hallway while this is going on, the first bitch ass move of our side arc, Ali Jr.'s quest for love has started. This nigga is in the hallway trying to mack on Baki's girl. Nigga, you just got to Japan and everybody <laughs> you knew here, you decided to try to talk to Baki's woman? There's so many bad joints in Japan, bro. What type of weird shit is you on? Bro, in the hallway, dead ass trying to talk to this this girl ain't got no answers bro i swear to god anyways moving on we got ali versus this gray hair nigga bro he's an npc ass dude it don't okay matter. okay as soon as the fight start bro this man ali punched this nigga in his nuts while this fight is happening we got baki in the background he in the hallway throwing up blood and shit. somebody help him he's about to die like kenny from south park <laughs> oh my god you killed baki you bastards bro that's basically what's about to happen while dude was in the ring getting folded by a nut punch baki's girl out there mad as hell like, okay Rosu, okay punches at him it's like you bitch, 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 i can't believe you you're always you aren't doing enough and you're always saying oh, what I'm a girl. This bitch started okay hell, she annoying. anyways baki gotta fight next and he ends up having to fight the poison his brother y'all remember the poison from the prison arc the one that made him sick in the first place well his brother's here and it looks like he has a poison hand technique of his own okay so as soon as the fight start this nigga goes to kick him and he punches baki's foot and i see this motherfucker foot swell up with the meanness bro like what is this big fucking nasty light bulb on his foot bro then he did the craziest shit, like straight off of some only fans foot fetish bro this put his whole foot in his mouth started sucking the poison out he you're gonna do what you're gonna do what that's it that's what he said you're gonna do <laughs> 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 while this is happening Ujiro big freaky ass show up he menacingly in the background smirking he be getting off to his son fighting bro or having sex with his girl I don't know what's up with him but he is getting punished at this point I mean Baki is getting rocked he rapid punches him okay <laughs> okay <laughs> Was throwing up crazy blood at this point. His bitch run out to the goddamn arena. Yo, she crying over him and shit. This is nasty though. I ain't gonna Ooh. lie. Sick ass nigga started licking her tears up. I said, oh nah, this freaky ass nigga into some weird shit. But apparently the poison gets negated. Now I don't know if it was his girl's tears, him swallowing the tears, his will to fight, or this motherfucking poison from the poison hand negating the other poison. I'm gonna go with the poisons negating these shit. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. I done seen crazier shit in Boston. So Baki is ready at this point. The poison is gone, bro, and he is dodging everything. I am not gonna lie, bro. Nigga broke dude's hand and oh. uppercutted him crazy. Nigga, oh. Bro was about to hit him with the left hook, bro, but then stopped, yo. I ain't gonna lie. He was about to <laughs> finish this dude, bro. Like he was about to punish this dude. Moving on though, Baki is eating crazy at this point. Okay, bro, okay. A ass science lesson about his cool body and how it's miraculously healing itself. Nobody cares, narrator. Shut the hell up. Anyways, yeah. after this, yo, we got this old ass nigga Kaku. He out here looking like the goddamn Geico lizard and reptile from fucking Mortal Kombat, bro. He got scaly ass skin. Fair, skin fair. Like the Sahara Desert cracked ass skin, the Grand Canyon bottom skin ass nigga. Bro, this dude is dry as shit. If somebody don't kick this nigga some Jergens, put some Luberderm on him or something. <laughs> but he was arguing with Ujiro calling this nigga weak. I am not going to lie, bro. Oof. After he called him weak like that to his face, I said, oh, this nigga must be the truth. So he go out to fight, bro. He fights a guy and finishes him with a pluck he plucks this nigga in his balls bro it was so embarrassing that when the dude was mad in the back this man Ujiro found him and told him to stop <laughs> bitching and if that he was a Japanese person he would commit seppuku right there and then killed this nigga anyway mm -hmm. moving on past this yo we got our first fight with Biscuit Oliver bro this big buff ass nigga this roast beef body ass yeah. nigga this, this, this hefty 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 looking ass nigga. this this is Campbell's mother beef stew built that nigga, a pork roast looking at it like this nigga's big as 
But he fought a guy and folded him up into fucking mush, bro. He hit him with one attack, and the dude was like turned in on himself. Bro inverted his whole Ooh. body. And he gonna rip his shirt off to finish the fight. Like, bro, this one, man. Bro, are we trying to show off, bro? Anyway, <laughs> so we got a bald nigga versus an NPC after this, bro. The, okay. Uh, the bald nigga with the beard. I ain't gonna lie, yo. He punished that nigga, bro. That fight was trash. So you jeer on Baki. I see. In the hallway, I see. Yo, this part was crazy, bro. Baki is talking heavy, like he's like fight me. And I'm like, Baki, uh, did you slip and bust your head? After you got done eating, he apparently got super cocky and told Yujiro he was scared of him. And Yujiro was not playing with this nigga. He grabbed him by his throat on some little boy shit and then pushed him through a wall, bro. This man Baki ended up relieved that Yujiro left. He was like, Am I relieved? He was mad as hell, bro. Like at that moment, he realized he was a bitch. So after all this happened, we got sweaty ass Retsu in the hall training for okay. this fight. And he ends up fighting a guy with rings that wants to have a grip test, bro. And he tells him that, man, your grip isn't even at the level of Hanayama, so you're a bitch ass nigga. He ends up squeezing his hand and then karate chops him in his in back, bro. Punished him with one swift move. I couldn't even believe this. Damn. Nigga just a goddamn blue belt move. Like, this nigga got karate chopped. <laughs> decisive victory everybody's in the back kaku him all these okay niggas, and they realize that all the fights except for one were won by japanese people or americans and that the chinese sea emperors are looking bad retsu telling the old dude like yo i ain't gonna lie these niggas is weak as shit. so they decide to ally okay. and go against the five remaining japanese slash american people kaku brings in his son and his son's friend who apparently they're super strong or whatever but who cares and yujiro is just laughing at these niggas <laughs> as they're explaining everything retsu's telling them look it's gonna okay. be five versus five yujiro was like it could be one versus five i will punish y'all bro he was talking crazy but they promised to get a flawless victory against the japanese slash americans like they were okay. going five fights to none and i was like yeah all right nigga. but we got unchained versus unchained like this was crazy bro how you gonna steal my man biscuit name this man yujiro talking about who's the uh, real one biscuit so he got his pocket in his hands yo he what? the pocket hand style so biscuit go to attack him he blocks it with one one arm bro and then cut this nigga's torso and put his hands back in his pockets oh this is cold as hell bro remind me of the Ooh. like that so bro ran up bro hit this nigga biscuit foot with his toe hmm. uppercutted him lick it rock this guy not gonna lie bro bro is rocking this nigga and then returning his hands to his pockets just like i'm about to return this grenade to this car today i'm not gonna lie Anyways, this nigga Biscuit Oliver is a freaky ass nigga. Cause why do you have a G string on? This nigga is dressed like a Victoria's Secret model. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of this nigga. Whole ass cheat swallowing the goddamn G string. <laughs> put his hands in his G strings, bro. And his goddamn underwear size. So bro is mad as hell and takes his hand out and pimp slaps Biscuit. Lick it! Bro, I ain't gonna okay. way that he slapped this nigga, bro. I, I, I got PTSD at this time when I was a prostitute. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Bro was talking heavy to him, so he ends up getting attacked, then counter attack and throat chops this nigga, bro. This nigga biscuit flips, lands on his feet, and then he stands again. So bro get mad, and start attacking him, bro. But then he got cracked by Oliver. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like first off, yo, I, I learned that this nigga name is Ron by this point, so I started writing Ron in my notes because that's a funny ass name. <laughs> so Ron ran up, huh, chopped him to the throat, kicked mm -hmm. him in the ball, mm -hmm. bro. He was like, huh, neck, body. He started really attacking this nigga biscuit crazy and his goddamn head got grabbed and he oh no the meanest head but of 2000 and whatever the hell year this no 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 at this point he was trying to fight back but Ooh. he kept breaking his hands on biscuit's body bro caught another head whack Damn. he started attacking with the broken hands bro and then caught another head but I was like, God, God damn. Bro, called three head busts and talked heavy to this nigga. Told him if I tighten my muscles up, your weak ass hands can't do shit. How y'all gonna say y'all gonna win five straight matches and y'all already lost round one? That shit don't even make no goddamn God sense. God damn. In the back, Kaku mad as shit said, You promised a flawless victory, but we started with a loss. So his son promises him that he's gonna do one kill per fight. That the rest of the four fights are gonna kill their opponents. And then his nigga Baki ended this nigga with one combo. <laughs> Bo ran up the Baki and said, we Mickey Mickey Jones, bro. Two O already. His son <laughs> is a goddamn weak ass. Nigga. The old dude told his son, "Are you even related to me, nigga?" 
Do we even share the same blood? He was like, give up on martial arts, bro. You're trash. <laughs> and your mom's pussy was trash too, bro. I'm mad that you're even here. He was talking crazy. Anyways, next up, we got Retsu versus Mr. Clean, bro. This okay. Bro okay. Beard, bro. He's trying to finesse Retsu this whole goddamn fight. Bro grabbed his hand twice, bro. Both times he put his hand down, he tried to do a little sneak attack on Retsu and it didn't work. The second time, he used his back and his core muscles to stop this and then throw him to the ground. What type of weird, flexible, strong is Retsu on, bro? Are you a gymnast? Out here, he need to go for the gold and the goddamn tightrope walk. After getting finessed twice, this man reached his hand out again, bro. And Retsu grabbed it and started rocking him crazy. Eventually, God he damn. Him and it puts him in an arm bar. And it dislocates his arm, gets up, and says, fight me. How you gonna put it in an arm bar, dislocate the arm, and then just release the submission like nothing happened and say, get up? <laughs> This nigga is trying to fight him with one arm, bro. Niggas was even rushing the stage trying to stop the fight, bro. But Retsu was like, no. He said, I can't use my uh, right arm. Perfect handicap. I said, oh, yeah, this nigga about to get uh, in his face. Oh. Then he started apologizing, bro. Grabbed him with his toes and shit. This nigga Retsu grabbed and gripped him with his toes. Flipped him over. Started punishing him with his feet. Then he grabbed his leg and he squeezed this Retsu leg. Retsu fall, but he catch himself. Use his toes again. And then grab and rip off this nigga's beard, bro. Do you know how strong your toes have to God be ripping? Damn. What type of weird foot sh was Retsu practicing back at that goddamn monastery? That don't even make any damn sense. So then he ends up undislocating this nigga Retsu arm. They get to fighting again, bro. And he is punishing him like badly, bro. Nigga oh no. Arms look like he was using Ashura, bro, from fucking One Piece. This nigga was dogging this. He went to uppercut this nigga, got blocked, then punched his face, elbowed this nigga in the back, bro. So bro got on the nah. face, turtling up. That was his strategy. Oh, I'ma just like turtle up. He kept doing it to block, but this nigga Retsu broke even that down, bro. Hit this nigga with the meanest attack in his back to finish mm. the fight. It was insane. God damn, yo. Ali Jr. punished the next nigga, the poison nigga, Okay, bro. okay. He that nigga and then used two punches, yo. Hit this nigga in the chin and slept him, bro. That, that was crazy. Anyways, moving on, though. This next part was crazy because you Jiro was in a guy okay. arena, bro. And you know, normally I would tell you what he said, but I gotta give y'all the hood translation, bro. Okay, said, okay. <clears throat> Yo, gang, gang, gang. Hey, man, it's your boy, you Jiro Hama, coming straight out the goddamn 63rd. <laughs> you know what the f it is. Yo. Hey, fuck China first, dog. Y'all, it's a bitch, but uh, hey, yo, this nigga Kaku, y'all master said that he was gonna get a flawless victory. Okay. We already proved that that was a lie. The lie detector determined. <laughs> <laughs> Reptile skin ass nigga. Hey yo, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what's beating him more, yo. His old age or his dry ass okay. skin, bro. This nigga chafe everywhere. I know his shit be hurting, bro. This nigga <laughs> can't even get in the shower anymore, dry ass skin. But anyways, that's not the point. My point is, yo, if this nigga can beat me, bro, all them mother victories won't mean shit. I'm gonna okay. just get that shit if he can beat me. But I want smoke. Tell his handicap ass to come out here. <laughs> this nigga Kaku at this point, he come out, bro. And we got the ultimate violence versus ultimate martial arts, bro. Bro, throw his chair at him make it then he ended up using this technique called shot okay. three, which is basically like making your body real loose instead of tense to get rid of the impact he also uses it in an offensive way but we're not there yet so okay anyways, bro dropped his glasses on Ujiro's arm and then kicked off and kicked him bro mad as shit went to go rock him but bro dislocated his own jaw but the shot to absorb the impact so then bro kicked him bro and it only nipped him though it made his nose bleed i was like okay hey, what is going on bro i ain't gonna lie after this though it was crazy because bro punched him in a cgi rollback that happened with this nigga Kaku was disgusting. Bro was out here looking like this was some what? Berserk 2016 level CGI, bro. This is disgusting. <laughs> but anyways, this nigga Ujiro was getting talked crazy to by this old okay. bro. He gets backed up to the wall because he don't understand how the Shaori work and he, he kind of nervous about it. This man Kaku says, you cowards make it hard to believe you're the world's strongest creature. I said, hold on. <laughs> this man Baki out there like, what's going on? Why is my dad such a bitch right now? But Ujiro finally finds out that it's offensive Shaori, bro. But okay. he started blocking it using his own Shaori. Nigga got hit 
the face of the wheel. Me? But he did a backflip, landed, and was like, you're in trouble, old man. So Nick started using Shaori too. He learned it that fast, bro. He okay. just saw okay. it, bro. But after he uses it, he tells his old nigga, I'll never use this trash-ass technique again, nigga. Get your goddamn moves up. I was talking to okay. you okay. how you did your moves. This is trash. He said, I got my own style. And then he punches the ground, bro. This man ooh, got ooh. swallow hard and shit, bro. He was scared. Yo, pause. When he swallowed, yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> he did in his fighting style the whole time. Started rocking this nigga, bro. God damn. So much that Baki started dick eating, bro. Was dick riding all you do? This man Baki in the background, like, this is Yujiro Hanma. This is him. He's Hammer. Nick punched him <laughs> into a kick. Leaky. Punched him into a wall. Bleaky. Old dude fighting back, bro. And we got this whole Bruh. moment where he show his goddamn back. Bro, this nigga is the apex predator. This man got that. Kaku dick eating, calling him a lion and calling himself prey. How you call a nigga you fighting lion and you call yourself prey just because you get punished? Bro, this <laughs> getting punished that bad, bro. He was like, could, bro, but Yujiro just took that. Oh man, it's not him. It's not enough. Bro, clap his ears. Mickey! God damn. Is that Baki? Then Baki's blind jab. Cut the cross of that cheek. <laughs> to end it yo and hey, this is the craziest part of this fight bro this man Yujiro put the fear okay okay so much that he faked his own death he stopped his own heart so Yujiro wouldn't kill him forever God okay damn, okay bro Yujiro was pissed but whatever man he ends up leaving and saying old man kicked the damn bucket so old dude Kaku in his mm -hmm, ass mm -hmm. like, oh nah this nigga wasn't human so I just had to you feel me it's a win for martial arts though he didn't beat me <laughs> whole conversation after that where he basically gives him props and shit bro but I ain't gonna lie bro I okay that, that was gonna be the end of this season and then we got into the goddamn Ali Jr. quest for love side what? quest once again bro Ali Jr. is trying to steal Baki's girl it's a whole art at this point Since okay he wants to marry her, I said oh yeah this is foul so I guess he was trying to prove to himself that he was on a level of Baki or something so he starts to go fight all of these men okay it was getting slammed crazy bro but he caught him off guard hit that chin Mickey dropped him then we got Ali Jr. versus Dofo bro Threw his hat and glasses at him, rushed in, got robbed. Blinky, I ain't gonna let's lie, see, Ali Jr. See. was rocking this nigga crazy, bro. So he started using the hand pocket style. He even liver punched him, bro. But I ain't gonna lie, after all of this, he goes in to get his last punch off, but it gets blocked, dodged, and then he gets counter punched. Okay. His ass, bro. Then he made a mistake. This nigga went to go see Jack Hanma. Like, Ooh. this nigga isn't 7 11 at this point. Nick was eating and said, wait until I'm done. He said, oh, did I rush you? And Jack was like, nah, I rushed myself. Because I think there's something better than food here. And I was like, oh, shit. He's about to punish this nigga, bro. I am not gonna hold you, bro. This nigga just punished this nigga. Ali Jr. is not him, bro. Jack got hit in the chin. That didn't even work. He <laughs> that shit. caught himself. Mushed his face in. His tongue got sliced up. His tongue was on the floor. He was getting his ass beat. He was talking shit subconsciously on the ground. Fucking passed out. Done. Talking crazy. Bro. <laughs> so we ends up going to go see Baki girl after five days. He beat the shit up. Had surgery on his tongue. He in there talking like Mike Tyson. Uh, his goddamn tongue is all fucked up. Mm. Okay, okay. And then this man Goki spun the block on this nigga, bro. This time he had a goddamn what? lineup, bro. Nigga said, Oh, that fight before, that wasn't a real fight. This is. Broke uh. his fingers, started punishing this nigga, slamming him here and there. Look like a goddamn cartoon. He was boing, 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 boing. He was slamming the shit out of this nigga, bro. Then Dopo spun the block, bro. Talking crazy uh. to Dopo, bro. <laughs> His initial punch with his forehead broke his hand. The bone showing in this nigga hand, bro. I said, oh, there ain't no x-ray necessary for that. That's uh, just broke. Then he started <laughs> breaking him down, attacking every limb and joint that this nigga had, bro. Started even attacking his hands. So, bro, wrapped his hands up like on some gloves to fight. Bro. Okay. And it didn't even matter. Nick showed up and got fucking punished, bro. So bad that he had a cane the next time he seen Baki Girl. It was embarrassing. Then after that, I'm thinking all is done for Ali Jr. He goes to sleep. Okay. Then dad show up. That was dad beating him up. And the goddamn ballroom bro they in a party room he getting punished after all of this happened i guess ali felt like ali jr should have got the fight with baki bro so they uh, set it up this okay training crazy for the baki fight so hard bro that this nigga all his injured body parts healed up i don't know how that happened but it did bro and okay ali okay jr versus goddamn baki bro the most embarrassing fight in this season knocked him out with one hit then got in a rear naked choke and was about to kill him bro damn in and punch Baki to break it up. This nigga is soft. Nigga in the back crying to this nigga Baki girl and shit. This Damn. Nigga, don't even make any sense, bro. But how did this happen? You His father had to save him. Fight Baki, so they're gonna set that up. Okay, this okay. Ali Jr. ain't black no more. His black card is revoked. Yo, this nigga is a soft ass bitch. I can't even believe.
mean that this happened? God damn, this just sucks. I ain't gonna lie. God damn, though. Good video. Really good video, Bye. Sensei. Really good, really good. And that will be my reaction to Kujiro violated the Ratai tournament by Sensei. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, maybe like, subscribe. It will help me a lot. See you in the next one. Bye.